A new kind of intelligence is quietly rewriting the foundations of modern computing. It's not human. It doesn't need sleep. And it doesn't write code the way we do. This is Alpha Evolve, the latest breakthrough from Google DeepMind, an artificial intelligence system that doesn't just generate code, it evolves it. Unlike traditional AI tools that autocomplete lines or suggest snippets, Alpha Evolve runs a closed loop evolutionary system that proposes, tests, refines, and ultimately discovers entirely new algorithms. Not just faster, not just cleaner, but better, on a level that's already saving Google millions in compute costs, reshaping chip design, and breaking mathematical records that have stood untouched for over 50 years. This isn't about replacing programmers, it's about transcending them. About AI becoming a collaborator in discovery, not just a tool, Alpha Evolve can outperform the world's top engineers in raw problem solving and optimization. It's embedded in data center systems, integrated into TPU hardware design, and even optimizing the models that train other AIs. And we're just getting started. Today, we're taking you deep inside Alpha Evolve, how it works, what it's already accomplished, where it's headed next, and what this means for the future of AI, science, and humanity's role in innovation. Before we dive deeper, make sure to subscribe to AINN. Every week, we break down the biggest stories in AI, robotics, and the future of intelligence. Stay informed, because what's coming next will reshape everything. So where did Alpha Evolve come from? To understand that, we need to rewind a few years, back to a series of quietly groundbreaking projects inside Google DeepMind. First, there was AlphaGo, the AI that shocked the world by defeating the world champion of Go, a game long thought to be too complex for machines. Then came AlphaZero, which mastered chess, shogi, and Go with no prior human training data, just by playing itself. Next was AlphaDev, which began exploring low-level optimizations like sorting and hashing operations, uncovering new methods faster than any human programmer ever had. Then AlphaTensor, which tackled mathematical matrix multiplication, again outperforming long-standing human benchmarks. Each of these systems had one thing in common. They didn't just replicate human methods, they discovered better ones. But until now, each AI was trained to solve a specific type of problem. Alpha Evolve is different. It's a general purpose evolutionary AI, a system that can tackle any problem that can be described in code and scored automatically. It's not just optimizing, it's inventing. Why does that matter? Because writing code is one thing, but discovering entirely new algorithms, those hidden mathematical blueprints that underpin software, chip design, and machine learning is something else entirely. And that's the mission of Alpha Evolve, to accelerate algorithmic discovery itself. Not over months, not over years, but daily and at scale. Coming up, how exactly does Alpha Evolve pull this off? And what's happening inside the engine that powers it? Let's take a closer look. So how does Alpha Evolve actually function? At the core of this system is a closed loop evolutionary pipeline powered by two of Google's Gemini language models, Gemini Flash and Gemini Pro. Gemini Flash is the lightweight sprinter. It's designed to move fast and generate massive volumes of candidate solutions in a short span of time, sometimes thousands of small programs in just minutes. It's Alpha Evolve's idea factory, the model that throws out variation after variation to see what sticks. Gemini Pro, on the other hand, is the heavyweight. It's slower, more methodical, and capable of handling complex logic that Flash can't. When Flash runs out of useful ideas or hits a dead end, Gemini Pro steps in like a specialist consultant, adding depth and nuance that brute force iteration can't provide. But the real magic happens in the evolutionary loop. Alpha Evolve starts with a prompt, a code-based problem that needs solving. That prompt might be a math function, a hardware design requirement, or an optimization goal. Flash generates thousands of candidate algorithms. These are fed into a battery of automated evaluators, custom tools that score each solution across multiple dimensions. Execution speed, memory efficiency, energy consumption, correctness, and sometimes even elegance. The weakest are discarded immediately. The top performing candidates, often the top 1%, are selected as parents for the next generation. They're tweaked, mutated, and recombined to produce new variants. Then the process starts all over again. If the system begins to stagnate, meaning improvements taper off, Alpha Evolve can introduce older solutions from previous rounds to shake up the pool. It also periodically calls on Gemini Pro to inject radically new strategies. This entire cycle can run hundreds of times in a single session. And the key detail, there's no human in the loop. Alpha Evolve operates autonomously. It doesn't require engineers to review results or write feedback. The evaluators handle all of that in real time, making this not just a generative system, but a self-sustaining algorithmic discovery engine. Coming up next, how Google is already putting this engine to work and why it's saving them millions. 
So what happens when you set this evolutionary engine loose inside one of the most powerful tech companies on the planet? You get results, big ones. Alpha Evolve isn't stuck in a research lab. It's already been running live inside Google's infrastructure for over a year, and the gains are staggering. Take Google's Borg system, for example, the internal scheduling platform that manages resources across the company's data centers. It's one of the most complex systems in the world, responsible for balancing workloads across thousands of machines. By evolving more efficient scheduling algorithms within Borg, Alpha Evolve was able to reclaim an average of 0.7% of Google's global compute resources. That number might sound small, but at Google's scale, it translates to millions of dollars in savings. Every fraction of efficiency equals reduced power consumption, shorter job run times, and better allocation of hardware. But it doesn't stop at software. In another application, Alpha Evolve was tasked with improving the design of Google's tensor processing units, custom-built chips that power machine learning across the company. Using Verilog, the same hardware description language used by human chip engineers, Alpha Evolve proposed a better configuration for an arithmetic circuit. It removed unnecessary logic gates, streamlined the flow, and passed all verification checks. A result? The design was approved and is now part of an upcoming generation of TPU hardware. That means Alpha Evolve isn't just optimizing code, it's redesigning silicon, and it's not doing it recklessly. One of the most surprising outcomes of Alpha Evolve's process is that the code it generates is clean, interpretable, and human-readable. Engineers don't have to untangle cryptic spaghetti logic or decipher a random AI abstractions. The output is modular, logical, and ready to deploy. That's a critical point, because even the most powerful algorithm is useless if no one understands how to use it. Alpha Evolve bridges that gap, creating solutions that are not only better, but accessible to the human engineers working alongside it. And yet, all of that is just the beginning. Next, we'll explore the breakthroughs that made headlines when Alpha Evolve started outperforming legendary human benchmarks, including one that stood unchallenged for over half a century. What happens when an AI stops mimicking human logic and starts rewriting it? You get breakthroughs that shatter decades-old mathematical records. One of Alpha Evolve's most jaw-dropping achievements came when it tackled a problem that's been a benchmark in computer science since 1969, matrix multiplication. That year, Mathematician Volker Strassen introduced a clever algorithm that could multiply two 4x4 matrices using just 49 scalar multiplications, instead of the 64 required by brute force. It was a milestone, a compression of mathematical complexity that became a foundational building block in computing. No one had beaten it, not for over 50 years, until now. Alpha Evolve, running on a combination of Gemini Flash and Gemini Pro, discovered a completely new approach. After generating and testing over 16,000 candidate algorithms, it found one that solved the problem using just 48 scalar multiplications. Let that sink in, a mathematical wall that stood for half a century, cracked by an AI agent. But this wasn't just a trophy win. Matrix multiplication is used trillions of times a day in machine learning, physics simulations, computer graphics, and cryptography. A small gain in efficiency ripples across thousands of applications, saving compute time, energy, and money. And that wasn't the only frontier Alpha Evolve crossed. It also advanced one of the most difficult challenges in high-dimensional geometry, the kissing number problem. This problem asks how many spheres can simultaneously touch another sphere of the same size without overlapping. In 11 dimensions, the previous best-known solution was 592. Alpha Evolve found a configuration that hit 593. One more sphere, one more point of contact, one more boundary pushed. In the realm of pure mathematics, that's a significant leap. Across more than 50 tested problems, from number theory to geometry to Fourier analysis, Alpha Evolve matched the best-known human solutions in about 75% of cases, and improved on them in roughly 20%. This is what makes Alpha Evolve more than just a smart code generator. It's a discovery engine capable of probing problems most people can't even visualize, and emerging with results that redefine what we thought was possible. Next, we turn to what DeepMind plans to do with this power and the industries that could be transformed next. If Alpha Evolve can already beat expert programmers, optimize data centers, and crack mathematical puzzles that stumped researchers for decades, what happens next? According to DeepMind, this is just the beginning. Alpha Evolve was built not as a one-trick tool, but as a general-purpose algorithm explorer. If a problem can be described in code, and if there's a way to automatically evaluate the output, then Alpha Evolve can try to solve it and DeepMind has its eyes on some very big problems. The next frontier? Material science, sustainability, and drug discovery. Fields where the right algorithm could accelerate discovery, compress development timelines, and unlock breakthroughs that would otherwise take years. 
Imagine an AI that evolves a more efficient catalyst for green hydrogen production, or one that finds a novel protein folding algorithm for faster vaccine design. These aren't hypotheticals, they're on the roadmap. To support this expansion, DeepMind is developing a dedicated user interface in collaboration with its People Plus AI research team. The goal is to make Alpha Evolve accessible, not just to internal Google engineers, but eventually to academic researchers around the world. A closed beta for academic institutions is already in progress, with broader access under review. This isn't just about democratizing access, it's about multiplying the pace of innovation. Alpha Evolve doesn't replace researchers, it amplifies them. It offers a kind of creative firepower that's tireless, methodical, and unbound by traditional intuition. And as Gemini Flash and Pro continue to improve, Alpha Evolve improves with them. Because here's the twist. This system is recursive. It evolves the code that powers the models that evolve new code. It's not just accelerating problem solving, it's accelerating its own evolution. But even this futuristic engine has its limits. And in our next section, we'll explore where Alpha Evolve still struggles and what challenges remain on the road to fully autonomous algorithm design. For all its staggering achievements, Alpha Evolve isn't perfect, and it's important to understand why. The system is only as good as its ability to evaluate outcomes. That means it thrives in objective environments, problems where success can be measured clearly and automatically. Computation time, memory usage, scalar counts, mathematical accuracy, but not every problem works like that. Ask Alpha Evolve to optimize a noisy lab experiment, interpret ambiguous human behavior, or write a compelling piece of creative fiction, and it fails. It has no built-in way to judge subjective quality or navigate uncertain environments. Without a clear feedback loop, the evolutionary process breaks down. Another issue, explainability. While Alpha Evolve can produce highly effective algorithms, it doesn't always explain why they work. In many cases, the solution is valid, but the theoretical reasoning behind it remains opaque. That raises concerns for scientific fields where understanding the logic is as critical as the result. There's also the risk of overfitting, where the system starts optimizing too narrowly, getting stuck in local optima. DeepMind has built-in tools to mitigate this, like reintroducing older candidates or bringing in Gemini Pro for fresh perspective. But it's not foolproof. And then there's the broader philosophical question. If algorithms are no longer written by humans, but discovered through blind evolutionary search, what happens to human intuition, creativity, and the scientific process itself? Do we become stewards of machines we can't fully understand, or collaborators in a new kind of intelligence? Alpha Evolve is opening doors, but it's also raising flags, technical, theoretical, and ethical. As we move into a future shaped not just by human ingenuity, but by machines that invent at scale, we'll need to rethink what it means to design, discover, and create. Alpha Evolve marks a turning point, not because it writes better code, but because it creates things we never taught it to create. Solutions we didn't know were possible, discovered by an intelligence that never tires, never second guesses, and never stops iterating. It's not the end of programming. It's the beginning of something more radical, a world where algorithms evolve without us. Where AI doesn't just execute our instructions, it redefines the boundaries of what software and science can do. From optimizing billion-dollar data centers to rewriting 50-year-old math records, from chip design to future breakthroughs in medicine and energy, Alpha Evolve isn't just a tool. It's a partner in machine-driven discovery. But it also forces us to ask difficult questions. Who owns a breakthrough when no one understands how it works? How do we trust systems that exceed our ability to explain them? And most of all, if the future of intelligence is evolving on its own, where do we fit in? These are the stories we'll be following because they're not decades away. They're unfolding right now. Thanks for watching AINN, your front row seat to the AI revolution. Subscribe if you haven't already. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let us know. What would you do with an AI that can evolve the future? See you in the future.